In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to build a dome inside of Risa 3D. I'm going to be using the high level generation tools, and we can see the icon here at the top. If I click on this icon, I will open up this high level generation tool. And this gives us the ability to build all sorts of complex type structures using this tool. Um, we have a geodesic dome, but I want to just go with a more traditional dome. So to do that, we're going to use the circular arc. So I can click on the circular arc. I can and see here that I have just the basics of an arc. I'm not going to actually use a member for this arc. I'm just going to be trying to find those nodes to help me build the shape of my dome. So the origin, I'm going to leave at 0, 0, 0. I'm going to say that the start angle is going to be 0, and the sweep angle is going to be 90. So I'm going to be doing part of this do dome here. I'm also going to say the rotation angle is going to be around the z-axis. Uh, my arc radius, I'll call that a 10, and my increments are going to be 20. So I'm going to go around a arc a radius here of 10 feet, and I'm going to break that into 20 different pieces. I'm not going to give it a member data, so it's not going to fill in the data. When I say OK, all of a sudden I will see here in the background just the nodes, which is what I'm interested in. So when I have these nodes in place, that's partly starting from my dome, but I now need to, I'm going to be using plate elements for my dome. So what I'd like to do is copy, rotate this about my zero point so that I can start my first set of plates. So we're using the copy rotate button, I click on top here, and I can tell the program here I want to do it around 000, zero, zero location, uh, if that's going to be right here at the center of my, my dome. Then I'm going to be rotating that about the y-axis, uh, the rotation angle here. So I'm going to use this about 20 increments in the 90 degrees. So taking that 20 increments all the way around this 90 degrees, or one of my quadrants, I'm going to divide that up. It comes out to be about 4.5 degrees, and I'm going to, to rotate this over. I'm going to do that only one time. So that'll be 4.5 degrees. I can just say apply, and I look at my model there, and I see that I just kind of shifted over what about one increment for my dome. I'm going to turn off my grid. And I can see here, it gives me some snap points. So turning off your node labels, whatever is easier for you to do for drawing, um, zooming in and zooming out will help. I'm drawing in the plate, new plates is what I'm going to start with by clicking on that icon there. I can say here, let's go use an, a steel uh, plate here that's going to be a half inch thick. And that's all I need to do. I can just say apply and then start drawing. Now drawing plates, you just need to designate four points. So you'll just click on the four points of the plate all the way up the structure. Now this will help you to just do one row of plates. Um, we're going to end up copying all these rows of plates so that we don't have to do all that work, but makes it quick and easy for us. So zooming in and zooming out. A lot of times in three dimensions, the hardest part is really getting a good vantage point. So you can use your rotates, you can use uh, your view, uh, you can use you know, zooming in and zooming out, trying to get a good view. Also turning off node labels, things like that, help you to get access to these nodes quicker. So we're almost done clicking all the way up here. What's going to happen at the top, we're building rectangular shapes, which is recommended in Risa 3D that you stick with a rectangular shape plate. Uh, but there will be a point up here where we're going to have to do one triangular plate. And that's going to be OK on just that top portion. So zooming all the way up here into the top, we can see we get and this is just the very last member. Now to get a triangular plate, you just click one more time on that very last element there. There we go. And we now see that it goes to triangular. OK, so we have one slice of our dome done. The next thing we're going to do is copy rotate that all the way around. So using the copy rotate one more time, click on that and click the clear button here. Now, we've gone four and a half degrees. We need to go the rest of the entire 360 degrees. So we're going to be rotating about the y-axis. We're keeping the, the coordinate of the polar origin of that 0, 0, 0, so that's our center point. Uh, we're going to be rotating now. So 360 degrees minus the four and a half that we already did would be 355 and a half. And we'll break that up into 79 increments. So we were assuming that each quadrant had 20 increments. So we've already done one increment. We'll do, instead of 80, we'll do 79. 
There we go. And when we push apply, we'll see that it fills out the entire dome. You can click on the node labels there and you'll see you've got all your nodes are, are in place, ready to go. So you are now complete with your dome. You can rotate that dome. At this point, you might put this on a structure, put boundary conditions, apply loads with surface loading. There's a number of things you can do here with your dome once you're completed. Thank you for your attention.